about 7 a.m. and we have fish to manage. It's in New York City. are actually at a photo shoot. The photographer who photographed our wedding wanted us to do a kind of photo shoot, um, kind of a couples photo shoot kind of deal up in the upstate New York region. So we flew up and we're doing a photo shoot. Andriana is getting her hair done right now. I'm just walking around this super cute house up in the upstate region and yeah, We'll see how it goes. We'll show some photos, hopefully. And uh, I've never done anything like this before. And Drana hasn't either. So we'll see how it goes. So it is now Saturday morning. I realized I never really told you guys what we were doing in New York City. And the main reason we came up was for a photo shoot, which was yesterday. We left about, or we woke up about 3.45 in the morning, went all the way to New York City, flew to New York City. We got picked up at the airport at about 8.45, drove another hour up into, right up in upstate New York area probably about an hour outside of the city. It was like this beautiful house that we were doing the photo shoot at. And we took the photo shoot, I think we got there at about 10ish and stayed there till about 4ish. So it was a pretty solid day of just non-stop photos. So this photo shoot was with the same company who did our wedding photos, which is JLM Photography. So if you need wedding photography or anything like that, this is the best company to use. They are amazing people, super kind. We use them for our engagement photos and also our wedding photos as well. And then they asked us to do this shoot together because they wanted a kind of couple slash intimate photo shoot in the fall slash winter vibe of upstate New York. And they asked us to do it, so we did. So yeah, we've never done anything like that, like a real photo shoot where you do outfit changes and different scenes and all this stuff and spend hours taking photos. So we really didn't have any idea what to expect, but I have to give some credit to the models out there that it's not exactly as easy as you would think. It's definitely a lot of work and to kind of stay on and take photos the whole time is pretty tough. But I think we took some good photos and hopefully they liked us. I think they did. And hopefully we get some good photos and we get to share them with you guys. Um, I don't know when they will be released, but. And I took a little bit of video footage from the photo shoot, which I will show you guys right here. So yeah, as you can see by that video, the actual house that we did our photo shoot at was amazing. Super cool, super cool spaces. And hopefully the photos turn out well. We'll see, hopefully they don't regret choosing us as their models. So it is now Saturday and we plan on just grabbing some breakfast with uh, my wife's cousin. 
slash my cousin-in-law. Because after all, when you're in New York, you have to get a New York bagel, which is what I really miss about living here. So we're gonna do that, hang out with some family, see our cousin's baby, and then see where the night takes us. So, check in soon. And we are officially back at the New York City Airport, LaGuardia Airport. Um, we uh, didn't film much the last two days because we were kind of hanging back with family and enjoying our time here because every time we come here, we're like... Rush, rush, rush. Yeah, and trying to see everybody rushing around. It's just like too much. So this time we came up for the photo shoot. We did that on Friday. We basically like hung out with her cousins all day Saturday. Um, and more family on Sunday. Yeah, well, more family on Saturday. We saw my cousin's baby, hung out with him all day, hung out with Yelena all day, her other cousin. Who's and then Yelena? Yelena. <laughs> we hung out with Yelena all day. Um, and then we came home and basically, what do we do? Oh, Yelena's our private Uber driver. Oh, yeah, Yelena drove us around all day, and we had like 15 coffees and ate breakfast. And we had a New York bagel, which I'll show you right here. Um, and then what do we do Saturday night? Saturday night we had our anniversary cake. Oh yeah! So we're like three months behind yeah, on so our one year anniversary cake, which you're supposed to eat at the end of your, or your first year anniversary. And, uh, oh my god. <laughs> it was sitting in the freezer for, I don't know, a year and some few months. three months. But it was still good, a little frozen, but still good. No, a year and two months. Not bad. A year yeah. and two months. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It was still good. We ate too much of it and felt sick. Um, so that was cool. And then we passed out on the couch. Yeah, and then Saturday we just kind of passed out on the couch. After being in a wedding cake coma. Yeah, after eating too much. So that was that. Went to bed early Saturday night. Had a good night's sleep. Woke up Sunday. What did we do? Made breakfast with Mama. Yep. Mom made us a good breakfast. And we hung out all day again today. I got my hair cut. Got her hair cut, which I basically did, it, did nothing but watch football. And then we went over to her aunt and uncle's house. They made us lasagna, had some wine. And now... We're on our way home. We're heading back home. So it was a fantastic weekend. Did a lot of cool things, but also got to relax after working as models for a full day. Yeah, or... Right. 10 models. Yeah. How did, how did you enjoy your model shoot? It was nerve wracking. It was nerve wracking. Uh, hopefully, we get those pictures because I'm curious to see how we did. Um, so, yeah, so we're heading home now. We're flying home, and I have to do interviews for the incoming residents tomorrow, and she has to work tomorrow. So, this is gonna be a we're gonna be a little tired tomorrow, to say the least. We are on the hunt. What ones? Hundred percent. So I don't know about you guys, but maybe it's just the healthcare worker in me, but we always have to get wipes to wipe down the seat because the seats in an airplane are pretty disgusting. People like coughing all over them all the time. So Adriana always has to get wipes. She usually brings them, but we forgot them. So now we're purchasing some. You feel better now? Yeah. Thank you. And just like that, we are back at home and it is almost midnight, so we'll probably be tired tomorrow, like I said. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Otherwise, hit it! And this is why Andrana loves coming home. Let me look at her. <laughs> I just want to knock her out.